So a little off topic from most of my videos, but since Wednesdays are my days to kind of talk about whatever I'd like, and some friends asked me to do this video, I'm going to do a cooking video. Uh, some friends of mine really like my eggplant parmesan, uh, and so that's what we're going to be making today. So of course you'll need an eggplant. And my wife Jennifer will be helping me with this. Okay, first step, take your eggplant and slice it up. And the goal here is to slice it as thin as you can. Paper thin is great. Uh, obviously it's hard to get that thin, but do your best. Uh, first things first, we're gonna cut off this end and we're gonna throw away that end. We don't need that. Uh, I also leave this end onto the end because it gives you something to hold on to as you get towards the end there. So uh, go ahead and just cut those up really thin like so. So like that. Now, while cutting up your eggplant, you might get some pieces that you cut a little too thin or a little too thick. It's not the end of the world. But our next step is to cover it in scrambled eggs and then breadcrumbs. So you take your eggplant and you coat it inside your scrambled eggs, strip off any excess, and then take it and just coat it and cover it with breadcrumbs. Doesn't really matter what breadcrumbs you use, uh, I use Italian style. If you're using a plain style, you can always add some other stuff, uh, some Italian seasoning to it if you'd like. And then place them all on a plate and before we're ready to get them ready to. At this point, you want to preheat your oven to a base setting of uh, 350 to 375 so that it's all warmed up uh, once we complete the rest of the process and it's ready to go. Uh, now, if you have a spouse, a roommate, significant other, or anybody to help you. Doing somewhat of an assembly line can help this move along a little bit quicker. And normally when I cook this, my wife helps. Uh, after I cut up the uh, eggplant, she'll cover it in the egg and the breadcrumbs and put it on a plate while I'm frying them up and we kind of just switch plates back and forth. Now as far as frying, first thing you want to do is get yourself a little tiny bottle of oil. Uh, don't need very much, just a small bottle like this. And uh, it can be, this is canola oil. You can also use olive oil or vegetable oil. It's not a huge difference. Um, some people like olive oil, it's probably a little bit healthier and has a little bit of a different taste to it. So whatever your preference is. Uh, pour a little bit just to cover the bottom of the pan um, and uh, set it to a medium to a medium high setting. And once it's warmed up, you can start frying. So as you can see, I've got the oil over a medium to medium high heat here. You don't want to go too high because you don't want to burn it. Uh, and then you just drop in the eggplant here. You can get it off the fork. I use a plastic fork. You want to be careful not to melt it, but this is an easy way to pick it up and you don't have to worry about scratching a Teflon pan uh, if you're using a plastic fork like this. You can drop in a few at a time. They don't need to be in there very long. We're not really cooking the eggplant all the way through here because we are going to bake it. We're just trying to brown the breadcrumbs here and make sure they're stuck on real good. Also just get the taste of the oil in there. Uh, and as you um, cook them, you're going to drop them in a pan, which I did put a little bit of oil down in this pan here so they don't stick to the bottom when I bake them. Also, if you can think of it, you want to cook the bigger pieces first because we're going to stack these and it's uh, a little bit easier to stack the small on top of the big uh, rather than the other way around. Every once in a while you'll get a lot of breadcrumbs in the uh, pan here and you just want to wash that out. Just uh, You don't need to wash it, just dump out that oil, wipe it down quickly with a paper towel and add some more oil every couple of uh, rotations. Now as you stack uh, your eggplant into your greased pan, uh, I like to put a little bit of sauce and mozzarella cheese in between each layer as I go. Uh, kind of like you're making a lasagna. Um, don't put too much sauce because then your stacks will slip apart. Um, and cheese, I personally like a lot of cheese so I put a lot of cheese and it'll help things stick together. Now I've been a little sloppy and messy with my cheese here, but I do like to put a decent amount of cheese on the very top once my stacks are done being built. Now that your eggplant is fried up, layered, and cheesed, uh, your oven should be preheated by now. You can go ahead and throw it in. And anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes would probably be a good amount. At that point, uh, at this point, you should probably start boiling some water if you haven't already to cook up your pasta. And they should be done about the same time. And uh, then you just enjoy. 
And this is our final product here. Uh, here's the eggplant right here. You can see my cheese is a little crispy on top. That's because I cooked it on the uh, top rack of the oven. Uh, you may want to think about putting it on the middle rack uh, if you don't want it that brown. Uh, and just keep an eye on it while it's cooking. Uh, but that's it. It's nice, soft, cheesy, and delicious. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank those of you who stuck around till the end. I know it's a little off topic from most of my videos, um, but Wednesdays will be like that occasionally. So uh, I hope you give this recipe a try. Uh, it's one of my favorites and people seem to really enjoy it and it's rather easy. And uh, I just hope that you have a great day.